Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to be trying to get the thorium metal out of the inside of this magnetron. Um, we got this from a previous project um, when we took apart a microwave and they got some stuff out of it and it turns out that the filament inside this vacuum tube here um, has thorium. Um, so we're going to try to remove this. So I think the first step to do will be to try to pry off each layer of the heat sink, probably with a screwdriver or something. You want to keep in mind that these beryllium, in beryllium oxide insulators here um, are very poisonous when they're in their dust form. So if you grind it or something and breathe it in, it can cause a disease known as beryllosis. So you have to be very careful of that. Um, but we're going to gently try to pry off all these plates, and I'll be back when that is done. Okay, so now that the he heat sink has been removed off, you can see here is the inside. It appears that this here is copper because you can see where I've scraped at it. Um, uh, while I was prying off um, all of these uh, heat sink plates here. Um, but when that's done, I'm not really sure what to do next. So I think I'm just going to try to chop it down um, with a hacksaw and see what's on the inside. Once again, be careful of these beryllium insulators. Um, but if I do something different, I'll tell you. Um, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so I've um, ended up chopping off this. Um, this kind of just fit inside of here, like that. And then I just chopped around that... Um, line or the edge of it there I uh, pulled it out and wrapped around here was um, a coil of thorium um, which uh, produced the microwaves um, so here's uh, your positive and negative terminals and um, here's your positive and then there was a coil in between here and then the negative um, so I had to break up the coil it's actually fairly thick so it's not that thin um, but anyhow so yeah here's your uh, thorium here little pieces of thorium. Um, it is radioactive, it decays with um, alpha particles, um, but it decays into um, radium, which decays into radon, which emits gamma rays. Now this is um, a rather slow process because this um, I'm not sure what isotope of um, thorium this is, but depending on the isotope it'll decay at different rates. Um, but if radon gas is being produced slowly, it still is dangerous. We're going to go probably stick this in a test tube and stick it in a lead box or something. Uh, just as a safety precaution because I don't want to have this thing beside my head every night emitting gamma rays at me. Um, so anyhow, uh, yeah, be careful with this stuff. It is radioactive like the americium that we did in a previous project. Um, but anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, and um, don't forget to save these beryllium insulators here because we'll probably be using those in a separate project. Um, I'm going to try to get the beryllium off them. There's another one inside of here. Um, anyhow, okay, bye.